Hello and welcome everyone to the lab view exercises once again. So today we have a very simple exercise in which we are going to extract some data on a graph between the two cursors. So let's just suppose that I have this one graph and they, as you can see, there are too many data points and it is very difficult to comprehend or understand this this graph by looking at just looking at this like this way. So if I right now I have these two cursors so I can extract some data between these two cursors in the real time and I could see or maybe I can just set my cursors position right now let's just see I want to see the data between these two points on the graph so if I just run my program I can visually compare or I could deep down or I could zoom in into this graph and I could understand better like how this graph is basically behaving at these points and now it is more understandable to me similarly i could change the location of my cursors and now i can see like how again this graph at these two between these two points what are the data sets and i could zoom into this graph and i could extend it more and i could understand it much better so now we will jump on jump on to our lab view programming and we will try to understand how this program is basically working so for that purpose i will open my new program new vi and i will go back to its lab view block diagram uh, right now I have to extract some data in uh, I have to fetch some data into my lab view program for which I'm using the uh, read delimited spreadsheet so I'll give it to it a path uh, so that I could extract the data from my computer file so if I will just go here I will select the path of the files for example this is the file uh, document that uh, contains all those data points that I have and then if I go go back I will create all columns create an indicator and now if I run my program here you can see these are basically all the data points that I have for that graph so as for I will consider my first column as an x-axis and the second column I will consider it as y-axis so now I have to fetch those x and y-axis and I have to draw it on my graph so I'll just go back and I'll put an express xy graph which makes much more easier for us to manipulate or display the data on the graph i will right now just leave this array to the array so that i could show all the data on my graph so let's just go back again so to extract the data between the two two columns that i have shown as x and y axis i will use an index array function so I will connect this broken wire here with my this one to my index array function. So it will to extract the first column I will create a constant and now it will give me the first column. Similarly if I extend this function as well it will give me once again the functionality to choose and I will set the index column function for the second uh, for the second time as one so that it will uh, so the in index 0 will give me the row oh, sorry the column which uh, column 0 which will act as an x axis and similarly the index 1 will give me the column uh, of the y axis so i will similar simply just connect it over here and i will create the constant not to reset and make it enable now I'll go back and if I run my program, I have that data points over here, but right now the graph is not looking so good, which is why I'll go to its properties. And here I have the scales. So I could remove the lines on X axis as well as on Y axis. And now as you can see, we can see the graph much more better way. Similarly, for the plot, I'll choose red as my line and blue as my points. I could also remove the background of the graph by going to view and then tools palette. And then for the background, I will choose the white color. 
and similarly if i just want to remove the uh, the bar of the graph then i could also do this by using this tools palette so yeah that's how it is being done so now the main portion is i have to get the two cursors so again i'll go to properties i'll go to cursors i will add cursor zero and i will use as black line and i need it on x-axis not uh, i need it on y-axis not on x-axis so i'll use this and i'll show it at a point similarly i will add one more cursor over here i will set it line black and again i need it on y-axis so i'll use this one and similarly the point will be looking like this and i could also to make sure we have to understand between the uh, cursor one and two i'll set the cursor zero name i will also give it as a name as it will also show me the name of the cursor zero as well so as you can see right now we don't we, we cannot see the cursors right now it is like it is just gone it is not appearing in here but the actually the cursor starts from the position zero so to make those cursors appear on our graph i'm going to use the property node so i'll use active cursor over here I'll make it change to right and similarly active cursor zero and I'll make a copy out of it. I will extend its functionality. I'll go again. Here I have a cursor and here I have a cursor position on X axis. I'll create right now a constant similarly for cursor index one choose again the cursor position on x-axis now as you can see on our front panel the position the value start from 200 so i'll go back again i will choose 225 and maybe for this one 250 and if I run my program right now, as you can see, I have those cursors appearing right now on my front panel. I could even increase this. I could go again to make it a little bit more highlighted, those cursors. I'll choose those lines as like this. Similarly, for cursor one, I'll choose again this. And now, as you can see, we have a cursor one is shown over here and cursor 2 which stands as cursor index 1 is just looking like here so now the main function or the main program is to extract the data between those two points so I will just use another graph or maybe I could just copy it from the above but I don't want to see those cursors again. So I will just go to its properties and remove those cursors. So okay then let's just go to this block diagram so right now till that point uh, we had these cursor positions at this point but now what i'm going to do is i will delete this wire and from here as well because right now we could see the position and, and now i will change it to read instead of controlling it i want to read its actually positions because we are manually going to change it at first time the cursor was starting from zero which is why we cannot see it but now 
as we can see it right now we can just control it manually so we could have their position as an indicator as well similarly like this create an indicator and now we will create a for loop like this now I want to compare the values from the X and Y axis with this position so I'll bring back this node over here so now this for loop will have will run the number of times that this x axis array have the values in it so i will just compare it like this way so if it is greater than the position over here and also so right now this functionality says that when the cursor zero have the position greater than what we have set and at the same point it is less than uh, uh, the cursor position of the second cursor is less than the set position here then only we will set a case in which those values basically will pass through this case and will be sorted and will be shown into our this graph so let's just go down over here so this is our true function which is connected over here here I am going to use this build array function so here for the x-axis I'm going to connect it over here connect it with the outer loop make it replace with the shift register I could just place it anywhere here I could start it from the constant and then I'll give it this so that it will be moving into the loop so otherwise when it is a false case it will just pass and there will be no values will be added into that array and similarly we need the y-axis as well but for that purpose we don't need to set the initial conditions because it is already set so I'll just bring a wire from here and connect it over here not over here I'll delete my wire I'll connect to the here and then I'll connect it to the outer boundary so that I could replace it with the shift register so that it will be moving into this loop again and again then I'll connect it with this uh, bundle uh, array element and then once again for the fall section I'll connect this loop wire here in false section so that when it is in false case it will just pass and it is not creating any array so now we want to see those on our x and y axis so this was our x axis line and this is our y axis values simple is that so now if I run my program now you can see if I just set my cursors the values are being extracted between those two points if I just reduce too much point here as you can see it looks right now like this way I could set the properties once again so now so that it is more understandable into this graph instead of putting the points 
into the, our first one. So that's how we extract the data between the two cursors in lab view.